Hello, welcome to the HiDoc channel. So today I'm going to be talking about cheap Windows licenses, Windows 10 licenses. Uh, I've seen a couple of YouTube videos recently where the um, uh, YouTubers really encourage the users to buy these cheap licenses for, let's say, $30, $20, $10 or even less and, and claim uh, that these licenses are uh, legit and genuine. And in one video I even saw someone uh, calling uh, the Microsoft hotline and asking them, um, I, I don't think it was a live stream, but he did ask them on the video whether this was a legit key and, and the Microsoft um, hotline confirmed. Um, but let me show you uh, what I found out about these cheap keys so far. Um, let's have a look at the uh, Microsoft shopping tips first. Um, so that's a Microsoft website here uh, on Microsoft.com and here's what they say. Um, so, yeah, at the moment, there are a limited number of sites where you can legally purchase digital downloads of Microsoft software. So it's only a, a very limited number of sites and, and not these um, masses of, of sites where you can buy cheap keys. And there's even more to it. Uh, if you look further down here, uh, if you see a listing on an auction site, uh, online classified ad, or other online page, advertising product, product keys for sale, it's a good indication that the keys are likely stolen or counterfeit. So if you were to purchase and use a stolen or counterfeit product key to activate Windows installed on your PC, uh, the key may not work for activation. And worst thing here may already be in use on another PC and here uh, might be blocked from use later by Microsoft when the key is reported stolen. So um, that's quite serious. Uh, even if you uh, if you pay $30 for a key, um, that's a bit of money and you don't want to lose that. So let's have a closer look on um, on what's actually happening here. So what Microsoft does here, they, they direct the user to their own um, key shop. So the, the Microsoft Store and here, here we are. And uh, a genuine key purchased directly from Microsoft without packaging, without a, um, a certificate of authenticity costs $199 for the Windows 10 Pro. So the Windows 10 Home is a bit less. I think it's $149. Um, but let's look at Windows 10 Pro here uh, specifically. So one of the stores I've seen in many YouTube videos is this one, the um, Kingwin. And the same key, they say here, um, costs only $30.24. So that's um, yeah, savings of 86%. Uh, let's have a closer look at that. So I've seen a couple of YouTubers buying these keys online and using for installation, calling Microsoft service and asking whether this is genuine. And apparently um, it's all been confirmed. But let's not be so fast here. Um, let's go go back here. Um, with the exception of product key cards distributed with COA certificate of um, authenticity, Microsoft does not distribute product keys as standalone products. So uh, this is not coming from Microsoft because they they are just selling the standalone key here without any COA, without any packaging or product key card. So that's just the bare key. Um, let's go to the next step. And here they have a buyer protection. So if everything's genuine, so why would you need a buyer protection? Um, actually, you need only one. So buyer protection is $5.82, which is quite a lot. That means, um, if, if you uh, take it in um, relation to the price. So that's about 15% uh, of, the, of the price. So that means every six, roughly every six um, keys might need buyer protection so that Kingwin um, will not make a loss on, on the buyer protection here. Um, and here they, they say if, uh, if the key doesn't work for whatever uh, reason probably because it's not genuine um, then you get your money back 
but if the key works, but it's still not genuine, uh, you would never know. And if Microsoft um, decides to disable that key in the future, um, that buyer protection might long be um, uh, no longer valid. So um, that is it, it's quite disturbing here that they have to to offer this buyer protection here at all. So let's have a look at some um, more reputable sh reputable shop here. That's Walmart. They sell Windows 10 Pro. It's the OEM version here, not the retail version that you get from Microsoft. So the OEM version you you get for $143. Uh, you would think that this is good, but let's have a, a closer look at these reviews here and um, a couple of good reviews, but this one's here, quite disturbing. Um, they evidentially reuse product keys and my purchase was useless when Microsoft Update installed genuine Windows authentication. That software found my compromised product key and declined to activate my Windows 10 installation. So that's one non-genuine key here that was sold by Walmart. That's new egg, so the price is very similar, uh, 145 for an OEM version, and uh, similar here, uh, a license key in use. I had to call Microsoft twice to activate this thing because the key I paid for was already in use. So that's a new product key that was already in use by someone else. Um, and as you can see here, you don't get a packaging or anything, you only get the digital delivery. Um, of the product key, which should not be available to Microsoft. It's only very, very few sites uh, that can offer this um, uh, electronic downloads at all. If you look on eBay, it gets even worse. Um, so the keys you get here are $3.15 for just for the key. They say it's original code OEM. Um, and they say they've sold 10,000 of these keys already. Uh, so similar prices here, $6, $3. And if you want to get one um, license with the certificate, yeah, then it's a bit more here, $35 um, with, with the DVD and the certificate of authenticity. Um, similar prices here, $28.50, uh, $34.99, um, and these are okay. Here, that's a certificate of authenticity. Um, this one here. And I've been wondering where these uh, keys and these certificates come from, and this is what I found. Um, so these are Chinese websites here, um, and resellers can buy products here produced in China. They don't they don't tell you any prices here in these overviews, um, but it's it's quite uh, suspicious that China sells so so many keys and products and packages all produced in China and all obviously, obviously geared towards the um, English-speaking market. There's some uh, French-speaking products as well, German-speaking, um, German language. So uh, let's have a, a closer look at one of these. Uh, let's, uh, let's go to the pure Windows 10 uh, key codes. Um, here, Windows 10 professional product keys. So they can produce 5,000 product keys per week and they sell these in English, French, Germany, Italian, Spanish, Korea, Polish, Japanese. So all these keys would probably arrive in these countries uh, produced in China. They say it's, it's OEM, um, but how would they produce, produce legitimate OEM keys? Yeah, good question, isn't it? Um, let's have a look at the Windows 10 packages. Um, Windows 10 Pro 
retail box here first first offer and they're very upfront so the Windows 10 Pro retail box contains um, an OEM key that means you can only install it on, on one machine whereas the uh, retail key you can install and as um, if you, if you scrap one machine you can install it on on a different machine afterwards and it will activate just fine but this OEM key it will just um, install once activate once and you can only install it on, on one machine and um, once you scrap the machine the key is um, is useless it's invalid it's worthless um, let's have a look at this other side so there are countless of these Chinese um, reseller sites that uh, resell keys to the uh, to the retailers in the West um, let's have a look at the uh, Windows 10 box here so here you can see a sheet they sell these um, these OEM COA uh, as sheets of maybe a hundred pieces uh, on, on one sheet so uh, they can they produce 20,000 keys on COA stickers per day so that's masses that they print and that's going in the languages English French Korean Spanish so that, that's all going to the West and um, us consumers we, we're going to be fooled and, um, and, and and not getting any any real products here um, but let's have a look at the Windows 10 full packaged product. I think it was this one. So they're very upfront. They have two different uh, versions here. One is with uh, with an MSDN on MAK key. It's not stable. They're, they're quite upfront. It's an illegal key. They still produce that and uh, ship it as uh, as keys in in these boxes to the West and the second option is an OEM key which is still OEM and not a full uh, package product it's it's not a retail key it's it's an it's an OEM key um, so that that's that's problematic and this is what I think we're getting here on eBay that's what you're getting on Kingwin that's what we're getting maybe not all the time but I suspect some of the time um, on Walmart and on Newegg on Amazon and on other retail sites um, so I, I'm not saying you have to go to uh, to Microsoft and pay 199.99 uh, dollars for a Windows 10 key I'm just saying you need to be aware uh, if you purchase somewhere else um, it might Microsoft might block it later yes as, as they're saying here might be blocked from use later by Microsoft when it's reported to be illegal um, meaning this key will be worthless will be useless and the seller is probably no longer available to refund you anything so the options you have is either this 199.99 or take the risk um, or go to a re retail store and buy the full package there uh, a trustworthy retail store uh, maybe not the uh, the small the small ones in the malls uh, but a big chain that might also uh, be legit um, but be careful uh, especially with uh, with this uh, Kingwin and with eBay but be uh, careful maybe not that careful but uh, still careful uh, what you buy from the major chains like Walmart um, and Newegg it might not be genuine um, if you only get the key without the certificate uh, you shouldn't uh, you shouldn't accept that um, if you get the key with the certificate uh, examine it very carefully uh, Microsoft has some uh, some information here on, on the how to tell um, as well how you can how you can tell apart a, a counterfeit a certificate from an original one so I, I hope this was helpful
Um, good luck buying your, your Windows licenses. Uh, don't get scammed. And see you next time. Bye-bye.